Hello, welcome to the Aaron Schwarz and Megan Auto channel. Today we are observing a beehive repair on a small organic family farm. These bees make use of local flowers to collect the nectar and pollen that they use to make beeswax and all of the other hive materials, many of which are harvested by humans for a wide variety of products, many with purported beneficial health effects. The lovely lady who's working with the bee professional here even gave us some of the honey from the wax comb that fell off during the box repair, and it was phenomenal. As fresh as it gets, with a gentle spicy floral note unlike any honey we have ever tried before, we actually have a collection of many different honey types from all around the world. We pulled the beeswax directly from the blade that formed inside the box. It was about the size of an adult human hand and white in appearance. Upon breaking off some with our fingers to eat it, the honey leaked out and was a yellow hue when we chewed the honey and wax and spit out the wax onto the farmland as per the landowner's instructions, quote, so the bees can find it and reuse it later. It is a fantastical and wonderful thing to see these beautiful beneficial pollinators at work. These little bees provide over $13.6 billion of value to the U.S. fruit orchards. Without bees, so many amazing products would not exist, and I'm talking a lot, a lot more than just honey. I'm talking about royal jelly that sells for 250 per kilogram, and beeswax that's used in all sorts of safe natural products like lip balm, salve, body butter, moisturizers, real wax candles made of natural beeswax. Beeswax is used in musical instruments to lubricate strings and mouthpieces and in the joint connections of woodwind instruments. Beeswax is also food safe wax to apply to wood cutting boards and sometimes also used to waterproof leather goods. There are some really cool documentary films about bees in the bee industry, colony collapse disorder, the gorilla mites that make bees weak and sick. Even with all of these things, it's amazing how the bee boxes are made all around the country. I think that bees are generally Yeah, but we can't. Well, I guess, you know, we can't put it on. It won't fit. Oh, that's right. I'm trying to get to the point where we start. It makes me smile in my heart to see this beautiful interaction between Megan and bees. That actually happened on one of our first dates when we were at a park in Seattle. A honeybee landed on her hand, and I knew right away that I was with a special person. <laughs> Meg was being swarmed by bees in this video, even though she wasn't wearing any protective gear, and not a single bee stung her. The bees were a little bit irritated by the hive being disturbed. The man working on the hives was very kind and polite. He describes a lot of what he's doing as he's doing it to the lovely lady who owns the farm and we put it back up on this elevated perch uh, no, it's, so the bees yeah, have better access to it. Meg watched up close at the whole action. I was hiding in the shade behind the yeah. car over here. It was very intense yeah, no. sun around 88 uh, The bees were highly active. So at you can see, see that in the video. If you look really closely, this is a sort of high definition. You can see thousands of bees swarming so the boxes. That's why that man and the lovely lady are wearing their bee protective uh, suits. When you're right yeah, in contact so and working with the box, smoke is your friend, and so is protective clothing. Unfortunately for the bee, for a bee to stand in it, it actually dies, so they're suicide bombers. I would suggest that if you're going to interact with a bee, stay calm. In your mind, tell the bee that you love it. They can smell their intention. Insects have antennae that are sensitive to pheromones that people use. When you approach an insect, I love on them with the intention of helping them get back to nature from inside your home. Or if you happen to be in nature and it's near you at a picnic or near your food or something, if you have the intention of helping that insect, they somehow and smell it to our skin. These pheromones are signaling molecules that boil off at roughly skin temperature. 
insects are very sensitive to these molecules. While our nasal bulb as a human is inside of our skull, the insects can smell using their antenna, which are not yeah, outside of the head. Ways to trick them. In this way, insects are much more sensitive to chemical smells. And this is also why insecticide or the side fungicide so, I, I, okay. and poison so when I come back to look at them, let's just give them the bottom. Cause of the colony collapse disorder. Those chemicals yeah, weaken the bees' immune system and make them susceptible to mites.